Identifying a prospect's needs isn't always super easy, but one thing you can't do is you can't go in with one tool from the toolbox and try to blanketly cover everyone that you ever meet and that you ever run an appointment with. So what you should do is focus on them. Focus on building relationship with them. If they like you, they trust you, guess what, they'll buy from you. You also need to focus on the value of what you're showing them. We, we always talk about the benefits. We always talk about trial closes. One of the, step two of my four step appointment process is fact finding. That's where you need to spend all the time identifying the prospect's needs, asking those tough questions. If I'm gonna lose a sale, it's gonna be on my own terms. It's not because they don't wanna volunteer information. It's because generally, we didn't ask the tough questions. We didn't find out enough information. We didn't ask those follow-up questions. We didn't get answers to the questions we needed. A good way to identify a prospect's needs initially, in the beginning, is when you're transferring from warm-up to fact-find, is, hey, Miss Betty, thank you so much for allowing me in your home. What got you thinking about this? And that's an open-ended question. It gets them talking. It gets you listening because, again, you're not going to make sales if you're talking. You need to be listening. If they talk more than we do, guess what? We make the sale. So start out with what got you thinking about this. Get them talking. Get them expressing what their needs are, what their concerns are, what they're worried about. Another question, you know, is, is they may say, hey, you know what, I'm getting old and I, and I don't want to leave the burden of my final expenses on my family. Or, hey, my brother passed away last year and, you know, he, he didn't have anything and I know I need something. If you don't make that sell, something's wrong. Another question is, hey, I help a lot of clients with, you know, final expenses but also there's other needs and concerns that we need to talk through to make sure that you understand that. You know, there's, there's, do you have a spouse that you're relying on some income from or vice versa that we need to make sure we cover that lost income or do you have a mortgage? Do you have a, do you have car payments? Do you have credit cards? Do you have loans? Is there, is there college funding that needs to happen for the kids? Are there all these various things? Make sure that you talk about all that because if you just blanketly sell everyone a $10,000 policy, they may be 60 years old. The 60 year old female, they're probably gonna pass away for like 28 years on average. So what's, 20, what's 10 grand gonna do them in 20 years? 28 years especially, you're doing them a disservice if you don't try to custom build something and make it super identifiable for every single person. Yeah, you may have to ask tough questions. Yeah, you may have to pry a little bit. Yeah, you may have to get them to open up and talk and share. Be their therapist for a second. Get them talking. Get them, get them answering those questions, those tough questions like, hey, who do you want your beneficiary to be? What's your plans? Is there any special plans that you have for when you're no longer here? You know, one thing I, one misconception though that I wouldn't do in the fact finding portion, I wouldn't ask them, hey, how much can you afford? I wouldn't bring up price until you're giving them options. Put all the focus on value. Put all the focus on building up the product. Put all the focus on identifying the prospect's needs. Identify their needs, ask those tough questions, and when you start to identify those, continue to ask questions like the questions I've mentioned, along with other questions like who's your beneficiary gonna be, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how I'm, I'm assuming that you know, this is extremely important, how important is it to you? A lot of my clients are like at an eight, nine, or 10, where, where do you fall? You know, just get feedback, get acknowledgement, make sure they're a part of the process. Don't puke on them. Don't just tell them all about you. That's an, that's a, that's an industry misconception is that, hey, I'm gonna bring out this PowerPoint presentation and, and this pad folio and this binder, and I'm gonna puke on them for 20 minutes about why they should do business with me. Nobody cares about you. Care about them. They want you to care about them. Everyone loves to talk about themselves. Get them talking about themselves. If you like this video, I would love a thumbs up. And I would also love for you to do a couple other things. Subscribe to our channel or our Facebook page so that you get industry leading content constantly. I always talk about being consistent week in and week out. Dude, who's more consistent than I and our team? I mean like 14, 10, 12, 14, educational training videos every single week, five live shows every week. Do me a favor, if you haven't been to our website, secureagementor.com, go there now. I promise it'll be worth it. We've got tons of free stuff that'll help you be successful. Ask those tough questions. Identify the prospect's needs and quit puking on people. Be a listener. When they talk more than you do, guess what? You make sales.